All right, in this video we are going to be using pastels um, to finish up our city. And this is going to be day one. This is actually two parts, and this is day one. So once you have your entire city done, and that includes your sidewalk curb, then you are going to move on to finishing the landscape in the sky. Um, and we have a little bit to do in pencil first. I want to put some sort of a light source that is either going to be a sun or a moon. And I have two sizes of cups here to trace from. So I have the small and I have the large. Now, the large is, is pretty big. And I'm thinking if somebody had a really large area of their city, um, or excuse me, a little large area of their sky and their city was a little smaller, it may be kind of cool to have a really large moon with a very strong light source. Looking at mine though, um, mine is a little smaller as far as sky space. And so I'm going to go with a, um, the smaller cup and you can place it anywhere in your sky area. It could be behind your buildings even, so I would just draw a portion of it. It could be running off the paper, or it could just be right in um, the sky area but off to the side. So that's where I'm going to put mine. And so I'm just going to trace it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to finish my background here, and I'm going to take out the horizon line and make more of a um, little more natural background. What I mean by that is I'm going to put in kind of a rough hill area back here. It's not mountains, it's just hills. And because I copied mine um, on the copy machine, I can't take out my horizon line, but that is something that you will need to do. If you have any lines that are going to the vanishing point, you need to erase those and get rid of them as well. And again, anything I have is going to be hard to erase since it is um, from a previous copy. All right, so we're going to be using pastel, and you have some choices here. Um, today on day one, we are not going to be using black unless you choose to do a nighttime sky, and that would be your option is using strictly black. But I'm going to try one here either using these four colors, which would be more of a sunny day, or I'm going to be using colors that are um, cool colors, which would be more of a oh, evening or, or maybe even a winter sky. So I've got these three colors, these are analogous, and I have blue, dark blue, and purple, or I've got the sunny sky, which is red, orange, and two yellows here. So I'm going to put this up here. Um, I think I'm going to go with the blue, the purples, and these are new pastels, so they're hard to get out sometimes. Oh boy, they are extremely hard to get out here. I'm going to go ahead and, there, let's pop them out. Once they get used a couple times, they, they come out a lot easier. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start with my dark blue and move into my light blue, or my purples. And it's going to get lighter as we go down. And I'm going to leave my moon until later. And so what I'm going to do is just basically go along the top edge of my sky. And I'm trying to create a solid color, and I'm not, so I'm not scribbling with the edges here. I'm putting down a base color. I'm going to go around my city. If you happen to get into your, um, one of your buildings a little bit, I do have special erasers for that. I'm also not going to worry about this being a really dark, heavy pastel. I'm going to apply a little bit of the lighter blue with it. And I don't even know that you have to use both blues, but I definitely want to add a little purple here. So I'm going to go add, ahead and add some purple just to give it more of a natural, fun color. And you want to be kind of careful. I just blew that off of the table, which I knew that doing that meant I was going to have to um, clean later. All right, so I'm back. Sorry about that little pause there. You notice I did not go all the way down to my horizon line um, because I'm going to drag some of this pastel down. I've got plenty on there, and if not, I can always add some more. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna push this pastel into the paper. And I'm trying to keep it in the same direction that I was using before. And I'm gonna take this all the way down to the land. I'm not scrubbing my paper, I'm just pushing it in, going over it, well maybe three, maybe four times. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it down in between the buildings here. And I got some in my building, that's okay because, again, I have a special eraser we can use for that. Then I'm going to go ahead and go around my moon. Right now I don't know what color I want for my moon, so I'm just going to, or sun, whichever this could be. So I'm going to take this down, get some more purple in it. I'm thinking I want to have kind of a fun moon color, so I'm probably going to make it a purple. And I'm gonna go all the way down, just about to my land, but not quite. What's really fun is, again, you can come back and add more color if you say, you know, this just isn't dynamic enough or, or bright enough. So again, I'm gonna go over it and push it into the paper. If you do not push it into the paper, then you're gonna um, have a whole bunch of smears later that you do not want. So I'm gonna go down to my land, go along my edge just a little bit, <laughs> and I'm going to make it fade almost into complete white. Okay. Now, for the color of my moon. Like I said, I want to have some kind of a fun color. I could do it yellow, but I want to really make this kind of almost a science fiction moon. And I want a little bit of a darker appearance to this moon. So we're going to add just a little bit of purple to it or excuse me, blue to it. All right, now, that is showing up. So now I'm gonna make some decisions on, all right, do I need to go back? And do I really need to emphasize the darker areas more? Um, or excuse me, the top part of the sky more? Do I want to do something to bring out the moon possibly? Do I want to add some clouds to this? And so I do think that one of the things I need is a little bit darker top area here. So I'm gonna emphasize that a little bit more with the dark blue. And then the next day I can move on, I can finish up some of that, I can do some cleanup and I can work on the sky. And that is the end of video one.